You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of Salvo versus Gonzalez. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Ms. Salvo, you claim that around the time you conceived your one-year-old daughter, Amaya, you carried on a sexual relationship with the defendant, Mr. Gonzalez. Yes, Your Honor. Today, you say you desperately want to prove Mr. Gonzalez is her biological father because it will break your heart if she has to grow up without a dad. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Gonzalez, you state you're also hoping Amaya is your daughter. Yes, Your Honor. But because of Ms. Salvo's repeated lies, you have no idea if it's true. Yes, Your Honor. In fact, you argue that Ms. Salvo had sex with multiple men, including your best friend, <laughs> and any one of them could be her child's father. Yes, Your Honor. So, Ms. Salvo, how involved has Mr. Gonzalez been in your daughter's life thus far? Your Honor, I can't stand him. He knows who... He knows Amaya's his daughter, but he refuses to take care of him. I've never, ever had sex with any Hispanic man but him. I, I, I prefer... My, I prefer black people. I don't like Hispanic men. I was intoxicated at the time. I was drunk. He came over. He got me at the right time. Okay. So, you had sex with him just one time? Yes. And he's claiming it's been multiple... No. It Mr. was a, Gonzalez, the worst experience. Mr. you've only had sex with Ms. Salvo one time? No, Your Honor. It was more than six times. So, tell me about the nature of this relationship. All right. I started off with, um, her mom knew my mom. I knew Ashley. So, we will go over, we'll drink, we'll, um, have, um, we'll watch movies and stuff. One thing led to another. We started kissing. We started touching on each other. We went to the room. We had s sex. Um, I was Did thirsty. Did you use protection? No, ma'am. I was thirsty. I got up. I went to get something to drink in the kitchen. When I opened the fridge, I was naked. Her mom saw me. Her mom was like, wow. Her mom didn't get mad at me or nothing. Wow? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. You were naked in her kitchen and she said, wow. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> All right, so go ahead with your details, because I will say this, you have come prepared for court with your details. Okay. Uh, go ahead. So, so you had sex with her that night? Yes, ma'am. Did this relationship continue? Yes, um, I had a fiancé at the time. Oh! And she knew it. She knew, okay. I, she knew I had a fiancé at the time, so I used to tell my fiancé, I'm gonna go to the hair salon or something to go get my braids done, but really, really, I used to go to Ashley's house to go get my hair done and get a little treat. Oh. <laughs> You're saying that this was an ongoing sexual relationship. Did you ever use protection when you were having sex with Ms. Salvo? Maybe once or twice. Just once or twice? Yes, ma'am. And now, Ms. Salvo, you claim that this testimony it's false. It's incorrect. Yes, Your Honor. The whole part, six times, that's ridiculous. It wasn't even good, so why would I keep going? Whoa! So, you had sex with Mr. Gonzalez one time. Yes. The sex was protected or not? It wasn't. And so, it is your contention that that sexual encounter is what made beautiful Amaya? Yes, ma'am. Now, he claims in his testimony you were with other men. I had a current boyfriend at the time, yes. You did? Yes. Okay. So, were you also sleeping with the boyfriend during the same time period? Yes, Your Honor. Were you using protection with your boyfriend? I... Uh, periodically, but not as Not much. consistently? Yeah. And so, is there any reason why your boyfriend's not in court today? Um, as one of the potential fathers? The reason we stopped with contact, because, I mean, he did help me financially when I was pregnant, because at first I thought that she was his. But when I had her, it's... When I looked at her, I just knew it wasn't his. My current... My ex-boyfriend, he, he was black, and she... She's just... She doesn't look like that. She looks Hispanic to the fullest. My current kids... His current kids look a lot different than that. It's... So now... Is that the only reason you excluded your ex-boyfriend? Yes. Is because you felt like Amaya looked Hispanic and not black? She has too much of him. The, he, like, she looks way too much. The dimple, she has one dimple just like he does. The shape of his eyebrows, that's him. Her nose, I have... 
a picture that I can show you. They're just, they're twins. What is that you're holding, ma'am? It's a picture of my daughter with her one dimple. Jerome, will you please pass that evidence to me? Thank you. So you claim Mr. Gonzalez has a dimple. Yes. And here, Amaya, I see that one dimple. She's so cute. She's adorable. Thank you. So you believe this is the reason why she's ultimately his biological child? Yes, ma'am. What other reason, though? I mean, it's just it's the dimple and the appearance? I mean, Jerome can attest to this. We see in this courtroom all the time that looks can be deceiving. Oh, I believe it. We do. Is there any other reason? I mean, if I had a picture of my ex, my current ex-boyfriend's -boy kids, they have no type of resemblance. She doesn't look, she looks nothing. So you know what your ex-boyfriend's children look oh, yeah, like and I'm, you say there's absolutely no resemblance to him. Not, I, ra I helped raise his kids. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Well, you know the only way to truly exclude a potential father in a paternity situation is a DNA test. Yes, ma'am. Did you test your ex at all? I did test him. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay, and what happened? He is not the father. Well, that's what your evidence is, Miss Salvo. Okay, so you had your ex tested, mm -hmm. and it would reveal that he was excluded as a possibility. Yes. So now that you know her ex has been tested, are some of your doubts? Yes, uh, my doubts is I took my best friend over there to her house. Five days later, he, I get in the car with my best friend. He's Hispanic, Puerto Rican. He tells me, I'm sorry, Julio, but I gotta show you something. I'm like, what you mean you gotta show me something? He showed me naked pictures of Ashley like this. Oh. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Your Honor. One, his... Your best friend had yeah. naked pictures oh. of Miss Salvo. Yes, Your Honor. Miss Salvo? He's... No, I'm not even going... I'm not... He's lying. Because, one, I don't even send naked pictures. I don't ever even let nobody take naked pictures So, Mr. Me. Gonzalez, was your friend claiming he, he had had a had sexual a relationship friend. with Miss Salvo? Yes, Your Honor. And he took the pictures from his phone. So, you think he could be the father? Possibly. Oh, Miss Salvo, were you with any other men during this window of time? No. Besides your ex-boyfriend and Mr. Gonzalez? I was with nobody. I, I don't even know who his supposed to be best friend is because he didn't even talk to nobody. So, as you think back, there's no one else? No. So, Mr. Gonzalez, I want to understand more... All right, Your Honor. ...about your doubt. One night, I was over there, and I got my hair done and everything, and she went out to the mall to, I don't know, supposedly go do something at the mall. She took hours and hours, and I'm like, I'm not just gonna sit here and keep waiting, you know, for somebody. I started walking home. I started walking home, she calls me and she asked me why I left. Because I felt like I was getting played. She why did you feel like you were getting played? Because she went to meet up with a guy. And you know that for a fact? Yes, ma'am. How do you know that for a fact? Because um, it, it, it came out that night, um, her mom and, and the guy, they, they told, he told me that he dropped her off in the motorcycle at the mall. And that's when I got up and left. And did he say they were in a sexual relationship? She... I don't, I don't want to talk bad about her, but she... she slept with guys. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. So it's your assertion she was promiscuous at that time in her life. Okay. Ms. Sauvel, do you remember that afternoon, that evening? Your Honor, the day I went to the mall was to meet up with my current ex-boyfriend. Yes, I was supposed to do his hair, but, I mean, I'm not gonna just mess up my relationship at the time, even though I already did, by having sexual intercourse with him and then not be with my boyfriend at the time. He's been more supportive through even my emotional distress than he really is. And then the part about being... I guess what you would call it, fast. That was when 18 or under. Yeah, I was young and dumb. I used to... I, I was a kid. I did everything with whoever at that time. I conceived my daughter at night, 18. 18 so you had under. grown up that year? I wasn't grown up. I wasn't grown up, no. So when... And I say that because you admit that 
you, when you were young, you were promiscuous. You were having sex with different people. Yeah, but I didn't know But him. what I'm saying is, it's his assertion that that's exactly what he believed you were doing when you all were in a sexual relationship. So I'm asking you, at that time, did it stop? Were you, you were only having sex with two people at that time and you're certain of it? I'm very certain of it. I stopped, that was before I even met him, so he had no clue about me at that time. So I don't know why he really keeps saying that. So basically, it's your promiscuous past yes. that's haunting him. Yes. And he had no clue about the past. I guess my mother must have told him about my past and he didn't know nothing about, uh, nothing about me at all. I never told him anything like that. I'm not here to make her look bad or none of that. I don't want to keep talking. I don't want to talk bad about her. <laughs> one night, one night, and this is another doubt I got in my head. One night, we're all hanging out next to my mama's house. We're eating, partying, having fun. This Mexican guy, he keep make, looking mad at me, looking mad at me like, like, like he want to fight me or something. Yo, I was actually, why that guy so mad at me? Why he, he look like he want to fight me? Oh, because he wanted to be the baby daddy, but I tell him, you're, you're the baby daddy. Was that your response oh to that question, Ms. Salvo? Your Honor, he was, that boy has been obsessed with me since elementary school. He, I've been with him since elementary school. He said he wanted a kid You've by You've been me. with him since elementary school? No, not with, no. <laughs> okay. No, 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 no. He was just a friend, but nothing sexual has ever occurred. But was that the statement you made to Mr. No, Gonzalez? No, Your Honor, I told him specifically that he wanted a kid by me. He... No, no. All right. Wait. Now you're raising Amaya. <sighs> yeah. By yourself. I'm... With my fiancé, helps out a lot. She's more of a father figure than anybody else. And so... I'm sure it's been difficult. And you say Mr. Gonzalez has not been there. Excuse me, Your Honor. When that baby was born, Got her um, formula, diapers, um, baby, um, baby carrier, um, crate, everything. Excuse Clothes. What? A crate? Excuse uh, me, excuse the, me. The, uh, baby, where the baby sleeps. Ooh. A crib. A crib. Right. Excuse got me, everything. Your Honor. Okay, so you got her a crib. Uh, we... That's a bald-faced lie. First off, he has not came out of his pocket not one single time. Oh, let me take that back. He bought two itty-bitty toothbrushes and some toothpaste for my daughter. That's it. So all these things he named his off, you've mother, never seen that? His mother bought that. His and the mother crib did. that she, he got her, that, I don't even think that, I think they found it on the corner of the road. I don't think she purchased it. I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure on that fact. But other than that, my fiance is one who keeps buying her diapers. I don't never return anything for my daughter because one, I struggle enough as it is even trying to get her diapers without Well, speaking their of your fiance, I'd like to hear from her. Ma'am, please stand. Step up to the podium. Your name, please. Teresa Millender. Ms. Millender, thank you for joining us. Ms. Sauvel says you've been there to help her with the child. I've been there since day one, since a mic came out. Really? Oh, really? So, was Mr. Gonzalez there? Not there? No. And so, what do you know about this situation? Oh, I know. I feel like I'm the daddy, but I don't even have no equipment to be the daddy. <laughs> but I am the daddy, because he ain't do nothing. I buy the diapers, I buy the wipes. My mother bought some stuff, bought everything for her eyes. But since I've been working, I've been buying diapers and wipes, buying milk. I buy everything. All right. So, in the opening statement to the court, Mr. Gonzalez, you know, it seemed as if you were hoping Amaya was your daughter. I want Amaya to be my daughter. You do? Yeah. I don't want her. She, it's not her fault she's here in this world. She's an innocent little girl. I, the baby used to come to my house. She used to eat in my house. She used to, my mom used to get her stuff, everything. I'm I swear, my mom's not here, my mom passed away, but if my mom was here, she'll tell you. My mom will feed her, my mom will get her everything. One day, because my mom didn't want to pay her phone bill, she started um, talking junk to my mom. So, this testimony you're saying is to affirm the fact that you've been there and you do have a relationship with the child. And if she is your biological child. I would like to have weekends. You're going to Honor. step up to the plate? Yes, ma'am. And do what needs to be done to care yes, for this beautiful little girl? Yes, Your Honor. Well, Jerome, I'm ready for the results. <laughs> These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Salvo v. Gonzalez, 
as it pertains to whether Mr. Gonzalez is the biological father of one-year-old Amaya Salvo. Mr. Gonzalez, it has been determined by this court that you are not the father. <laughs> Excuse me, Your Honor. Can I still come around and see Amaya and help her out if I can? Because for a year and four or five months, she's been my daughter and she's still going to be my daughter. And I told her that before she came to the show. I got on my knees and I told her that, that no matter what, even if they say no, I still want to be part of Amaya's life because my dad raised me since I was six weeks in my mom's belly. And that's, that's a real man right there. I never met my real dad. Miss Salvo? <sighs> Mr. Gonzalez has expressed love and commitment for your baby. Ms. Millinder is there for you and Amaya. He's asking if he could possibly remain in her life. Please. Yeah. Now, this court has resources for you that can help you begin to process this particular result and how you can begin to take those steps. There are better days ahead, okay? <laughs> Trust me. Trust me. I wish you the best of luck. I'm gonna check on you guys. And remember, focus on the blessing, which is your beautiful baby. Yes, ma'am. I wish you the best. Court is adjourned. Thank you, ma'am. I'm so sorry that it didn't turn out the way <sighs> you wanted scary. it to. You know, I hear Ms. Millinder speak with love about your baby. Mr. Gonzalez speak with love about this baby. And you and your baby are going to go forward. You're going to be able to handle it because that's what moms do. Things we can't handle for ourselves, we can handle it for our babies. All right, good luck to you. Thank you.